At the General Dental Council, we work to protect dental patients and maintain public confidence in dental professionals. One of the ways we do this is by investigating the serious concerns that have been raised with us about dental professionals. This is referred to as our fitness to practice process and it plays a vital role in our work to protect the public and patients. If a serious concern is raised about a dental professional and, following an assessment of the evidence available, it is decided that there is a case to answer, a public fitness to practice hearing will be scheduled. In this short film, we take a quick look at the different people who attend our hearings and the roles they play. If you'd like more details about our fitness to practice process itself, you will find this in our film, What Can I Expect at a GDC Hearing? GDC public hearings are held before one of our fitness to practice committees. Each committee is made up of three people, drawn from a pool of independently appointed dental professionals and lay people, known as the fitness to practice panel. Our fitness to practice panel is made up of independent people who bring a wide range of experience, backgrounds and perspectives, helping to ensure balanced discussions and fair decisions at hearings. Each hearing committee will have an appointed chair and will include a dentist and a layperson selected from the fitness to practice panel. The committee will also normally include a dental care professional. This will happen in all cases where a dental care professional is the subject of the hearing. Committee members will hear the evidence from the relevant parties, ask questions, discuss and deliberate. They will then decide whether any of the charges have been proven and, if proved, the committee will then decide what, if any, sanction to impose. Alongside the committee members, you will always see a committee secretary and a legal advisor. The committee secretary is responsible for the administrative tasks associated with the hearing. They will provide procedural guidance to the committee and act as the liaison between the committee and the parties involved in the case. The committee secretary does not play any role in decision making, but will take a note of the committee's deliberations, including their reasoning, and will create the written determination for the hearing. The legal advisor provides procedural legal advice to ensure the hearing is conducted appropriately. They will be a qualified lawyer with a minimum of 10 years experience. Any advice given to the committee will be provided in public for any party to comment on. When a dental professional is unrepresented, the legal advisor will be able to explain the legal process to them, but they will not give advice on how to present the case. The legal advisor will engage with both parties on matters of law outside of the hearing, but will not engage in decision-making discussions or play any part in the creation of the hearing's determination beyond ensuring it is legally sound. The case presenter will present the case against the dental professional. The case presenter is usually a lawyer instructed by the GDC. They are sometimes accompanied by a dental expert who will sit behind them if present. The person who is the subject of the hearing, the dental professional, and their representative will normally be present in the hearing. The professional's representative is most often a lawyer who may also be accompanied by those who instruct them. This is not always the case. The dental professional may have a representative from an indemnifier or defence union, or simply be accompanied by a friend or relative who is there to support them or to speak on their behalf. We will always ensure there is support available for dental professionals and witnesses during the hearing, as we know that the process can be daunting. This supportive role is played by our hearings or witness support officers. Further information on the role witnesses play and the support we provide can be found in our film How Are Witnesses Supported Throughout Hearings? Alongside those who have a role to play, there may be members of the public or the media present at a hearing. Our hearings are normally held in public, which means anyone may attend. Holding hearings in public is important to ensure we are being transparent in our role as a professional regulator and that matters of public interest can be shared. On occasion, all or part of a hearing may be heard in private, for example, if private health information needs to be presented. Some of our hearings are also held remotely or virtually, in full or in part, for a variety of reasons. 
Further information on remote hearings can be found on our website, along with information on how to attend a public hearing. If you have any questions about our hearings, or if you're interested in attending a GDC hearing, please complete the Contact Us form on our website, www.gdc-uk.org contact us.